So after you've managed to get your first remote job or gig that is going to pay you a lot of dollar bills, then you get hit with reality. How do I get these dollar bills? Like, how do I receive payments? And if this sounds like you, don't worry, I've also been there. And I'm going to share in this video five ways that I receive payments in dollars in Nigeria. Okay, so I see this a lot online and even recently in the sales class community and elsewhere, I get asked, okay, how do I get paid? And the thing is, often this is like an afterthought because we're so focused, you know, sharpening our skills, you know, um, pitching out to like, you know, write that article, you know, get that gig, get a freelancing job or even get employed. And we might forget to actually set up like, a channel or a means to get paid and it's not the easiest of things but over the years since 2018 i find i found out ways that that have actually worked for me and i'm going to share it here so please stick around to the very end because i'm going to show you how i use them and all the nuances i'm literally going to tell you how i get paid using these channels and um hopefully they're going to be useful for you so let's get into it the way number one is through crypto this one i don't really use it anymore it's been years since i use crypto but back in the maybe 2018 2019 when i was still contracting and working in the web3 space i got paid in crypto like um because it's the space right so it really makes sense so it was really easy and it, it was quite the experience because i had to you know i think i used like binance and then you have to do like this pair to pair where it was just a whole lot and of course there's going to be like conversions and of course you're going to maybe lose money and the rates and uh, it's just a wild wild west but it really worked back then and it was really, really good because i was in web 3 space so that's the first way you could get paid you could like get your employer or your or, or the person who contracted you to pay you in crypto and you could use something like binance to receive it and then you could convert to like your naira to like send to your naira account using their peer-to-peer -peer, um feature which was really good at the time way number two um this one is really really important and that is domiciliary account i advise anyone that is really serious of working remotely in nigeria to get a domiciliary account and i'll tell you why this is because most um companies or your employers oversee would want to pay you via wire transfer okay and this one if you set it up it's a little bit stressful to set it up depending on the bank but once you do it it's going to be so stressful because you could just you know send up the account and some um routing numbers and all them information that they will need so go get a domiciliary account go to your bank i would recommend zenith bank not because they're the best bank in nigeria but this based on how all this work and how i've used them over the years i find that zenith bank with some services which i'm going to mention has made it easy to actually get um payments done so go get a domiciliary account go to your bank today and i really advise you to do this before you start getting paid or uh, so while you are bidding for the job make sure you have prepared the way to get the money so get a zenith bank dom domiciliary account because the way I've used it, it has really been a pivotal factor. And I will also explain as we go further. Way number three is PageStack. So PageStack is a payment processor. It's really, really big. It's one of the big two, I think, PageStack and Flutterway. But I've used PageStack and mostly for integrating payments into my SaaS application or uh, services that I need billing. So I mentioned Guppy and SalesCars.com in the previous video on how, on how I've made money with JavaScript. And... Paystack actually makes that work in terms of the subscription and also one-time payments for copy licenses. So where you have to get like a merchant account on Paystack, meaning you have to be like a registered business. So you have to register a business. So I, I have a, a registered business, a limited company, limited liability company, what they call it. I think so and uh, it's called the sales company. So it's mostly the parent company for salescars.com and also copy so you have that account and you could set up payments i wrote like a little package for sales which makes the the integration of paystack really easy so if you want to like build like a SaaS application or anything that has to do with receiving payments from apps and you want like a very good api i it's worked for me oh their success rate is not the best most times because of their 
anti-fraud algorithm thingies that they do but overall it's been good um i do receive some payments and um i would recommend you checking them out so you go to paystack.com and make sure you get an account so if you're really serious of building like you want to build a service of course you need to like register a business and um they're going to do that for you and because so one of the reasons why i said you should get a zenith bank account because on page tag they can do a dollar payout to zenith bank and one other bank i can't remember but it was just like a no-brainer i think it was one of the influencing factor that made me open a zenith domestic account for both myself and for my company so at i think i don't know how the interval works again but they're going to make like the usd payout to your dom account which is really really good so yeah check out page stack if you're going to integrate payments i really think it's good and uh, just let me know your thoughts also in the comments below so way number four is using a service called gray or gray finance is the name of the company and i i found gray at the period where it was really horrible i think there was an there was so many issues oftentimes and i needed like a service where i could you know impute so when I get the dollars from my dumb account most times, right? It's often a pain to like convert to Naira. So the bank rates are horrible and all that kind of stuff. So I was looking for one that I find great finance. I was a little bit skeptical because I tried a couple, they don't really don't pan out well. But when I tried great, the rates like the rate was good, the app was really, really good, and it was amazing. So I in, initially I went to them for like you know getting the dollars into like Naira so I could transfer to Gray and they could you know um let me convert it to Naira which was really amazing. And uh, why again they also make it easy to transfer. So you could use a credit card which you know you get charged for like the credit card stuff but if you transfer directly from your Zenith bank it's actually free to do that transfer so it might take like a couple of hours but sometimes it's less and i could also talk to your customer support which they are really really responsive in that manner so it it was really really good and then i found out that they could let you create um usd accounts so like a bank account like in an actual american bank that can have like that you could get your usd and they also let you do for euro and i think for pounds as well it was really good so they give you like a virtual account that you could give to someone to actually send you money to so i experimented sending so i was receiving money with grace usd accounts which was good until they shut it down for some reason they're, they're still trying to like get it back up so the, that didn't pan out well to to let people send to Gray. So mostly I use Gray as an intermediary to like get Naira out when I receive money to the DOM account. The finally number five is using Y. So an app called Y. So this one I use them in concert. So let me explain how I use Gray Finance and Wise and also my DOM account most time. So with Gray Finance, um. Like I said, they don't have a USD account anymore, so you can't really send USD direct. Um, you can send USD via a DOM transfer from your DOM account, like your Zenith DOM account, but you can't really give someone like an account number that they can send to in Gray, right? So what happened is with Wise, because Wise is so easy, and most company that pays remotely use Wise, so they could actually just pay me even for my email address and that will send the dollar inside my wise account right and then since gray lets you get a euro account i can convert the dollar to euro in wise i then send that to gray mm -hmm. and from gray i could literally just send the naira to my naira account i normally use scuda for my naira accounts for I, th I think it's my primary bank account for online things so that's it that's those are the five ways i receive payments online because i know it could be a pain and i've been asked a couple of times and you as a freelancer or a contractor or a remote employee you need to set up these processes i know it's it seems like a lot but once you've set them up it's really quite easy so to recap um right now currently the ones i normally use is my dorm account for most of the payments i receive so for clients or my employer that would want to do like a direct wire transfer 
I'll give them the details to my DOM account, right? So it will take like the Swift code, the bank name, my account name, account number, and all this kind of stuff. It might take like maybe like three to four days, but it surely come. And I like Zenith Bank because they are always prompt with giving you alerts when it does come. And I will use Wise for maybe like technical writing or maybe like sponsorship deals that want to that have a Wise account that they prefer to send by Wise. So I just give them my email address in the invoice or maybe like doing chats and they will send the dollars to wise and then i could convert the dollars to like euro to send to gray because like i said gray's currently do not have like a dollar details account anymore they're still trying to work on how they get that done with their providers and then i have it in gray and then i could always transfer to my naira account so i hope that helps it could be a pain but over the years i find that this workflow does work for me and let me know if you use any other service and how useful this information is to you like i said take action get started today like to set it up most importantly you could set up a dom account you could create a free wise account as well but in all these bank things you all know the processes where right? you need to have like a means of identification and all those kind of stuff so i'm thinking your your i have an international passport so i use that most of the time so you, you could have that you could have a driver's license i think that's also what most places you're going to do some verification you're going to clear the kyc but once you've done that all your accounts are good in both wise and gray so go to check a gray go also create a gray account i'm going to leave a link to maybe give you my referral code for you to use as well in the description so set this up um uh, this has really worked for me it's been really a breeze to use all this and i hope it will also make it easy for you because after you've done all the work you should be able to get paid with ease and so far this is how I, i've done it these are the five ways i've done it over the years to recap crypto this one i've not done it for a very long time did it in 2018 uh, a domiciliary account which is like uh, a bank account that lets you receive dollars mostly you could uh, check in order Currencies, but it's dollars I'm interested in, so of course. And the pay stack for my online businesses that want to um, process payments, so I use them as my payment processor. Gray Finance, like like an intermediary to to get um, Naira from dollars, so I could send money from my DOM account to Gray, and then I could convert it to Naira because I like the rates. It's really seamless experience, and I use Zenith Bank, so and Gray lets you transfer directly to Zenith Bank with no charges um, included. Then finally, WISE, where for clients that want to pay via WISE, WISE is really popular and they can they also give you like a dollar account, a euro account and a pound account or any other account that you might need. But of course, we're all interested in the dollar. So yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think about this video. If it was very uh, informative, I was kind of skeptical about doing this, but I've had the the request so much i said okay let's see if we could give value with this one and by the way before you go please like this video and also subscribe to this channel i really appreciate that and also youtube is going to suggest a video for you to watch somewhere on the screen please watch it it really helps the channel grow thank you